Hi, welcome to all about mechanical engineering. For today's video, the topic of discussion is projection of plates. In this video, we will look question which is given on a hexagonal plane in which the given data mentions the given plane is resting on corner in HP, the surface makes an angle with HP and the top view of the diagonal through that corner makes an angle with VP. For better understanding, let us have this question, which is from Badu examination, July 2023. The question mentions a regular hexagon of 40 mm side has a corner in HP. Its surface is inclined at 45 degree to the HP. And the top view of the diagonal through the corner, which is in HP, makes an angle of 60 degrees with VP. Draw its projections. Let us take out the given data first. In the first sentence, regular hexagon is given with side 40 mm. Next, we can name this hexagon for our convenience as A, B, C, D, E, F. So, this is the diagram. One corner of this hexagon is in HP. So, that's another given data. Then, the surface making an angle 45 degree with HP, that means Theta equals to 45 degree. Top view of diagonal through the corner, which is resting in HP, makes an angle of 60 degrees. That means this value is beta equals to 60 degrees. Now, the resting corner here in HP means this is the resting reference which should be kept on the left while drawing the true shape. Also, as the surface inclination is with HP, the true shape will be visible in top view. And the top view of diagonal making an angle 60 degree with VP, that will be the second angle. That means that will be taken in the third stage. Let's draw the solution. Taking XY line, drawing a vertical projector at a convenient distance here, which should be more than the given side length, that is. 40 mm. So let us say we are keeping it as 50 or 60 mm, drawing a horizontal line here. Now taking radius 40 mm in your compass, keeping compass at this intersection, drawing a circle. As we want the corner on the left, you have to keep your compass on the left here with the same radius 40 mm. Draw arcs on either side, shift the compass to the opposite side here, and draw two more arcs. Using these two points and these four arcs, you have to join them and you will obtain your hexagon. Naming it as mentioned, then taking the projectors up and you can have your corresponding front view. As the given reference is on HP, the first front view will be on XY line. Corresponding names will be given here. Proceeding to the next step, you have to draw a vertical projector taking an angle theta that is 45 degrees in this question, drawing a line at this angle. Now, you have to name this point as A dash, taking this radius A dash to B dash in compass, keeping on A dash here, cutting an arc. Then from A dash to C dash, keeping on A dash here, cutting another arc. From A dash to D dash, keeping on A dash here, cutting another arc naming them and drawing the line. From here, you have to take the projectors down as we already have the projector of A down. This is A1 here. Another projector from B dash. And from here, it is on this line. So this is the intersection point B1. Similarly, for C, this is the vertical projector and it is on the same line. So this is C1. For D, this is a projector and this is on the same line here, D1. Then on the same line of projector C, there is another point E here. And on the projector of B, there is another point F. Now you have to join them. And this is the reduced shape of the given hexagon. We have to incline the top view of diagonal through the resting corner. Resting corner is A. The diagonal is AD. And the top view of that diagonal is A1, D1. So, we have to keep this line A1, D1 at 60 degree angle. Taking a vertical projector, taking an angle beta here, that is 60 degrees in this question. 
drawing a line. Naming this point as A1 now, we have to recreate this image. We are going to use arc method now. You have to use center as A1, radius as A1, D1, and you have obtained D1 point here. I have A1 and D1 two points now. What you have to do is keep the center A1 and take radius A1, B1, which is also equals to A1, F1. So these two are same. Taking this in compass, keeping here on A1, drawing arc on both sides. Now, shift the center from A1 to D1 and radius that is the same is available here D1, C1 and D1, E1. Keeping compass here, draw another two arcs. Now, keeping A1 as center and the radius A1, C1 equal to A1, E1. So, from A to opposite point that is C and from A to opposite point E. So, keeping here, cutting opposite arcs. Similarly, now keeping on D1, cutting opposite arcs, naming them and then joining these points. We have recreated this image from here using arc method. Now, taking the projectors up, as we already have the projector of A, this is the intersection point A1 dash. Similarly, taking B up, from here, it is on this line. So, this is another point B1 dash. Similarly, this is projector for C. From here, this is the intersection C1 dash. Then D, it is on the last D1 dash. Then E, it is on the same line here of C here. So, it is E1 dash. Last is F. Here, it is from the same line on B1 dash. So, this is the last point. Join them. And we have obtained the front view and the final top view of the given question. This is the diagonal A1 dash D1 dash, which was given as a reference for the last step. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe it. Thank you for watching.